Welcome to our session on fine-tuning GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Fine-tuning for GPT 3.5 Turbo has finally arrived. Fine-tuning allows developers to customize GPT 3.5 for specific use cases to create unique and differentiated experiences for their users. It not only creates a unique tone for your brand but also produces more reliable outputs and ensures that the model closely adheres to given guidelines. By fine-tuning, developers have reduced input prompts by up to 90%, resulting in faster API calls and potentially cutting costs. But it's essential to understand the financial implications. The cost breaks down into two primary buckets, training and usage. The graph shows the comparison against GPT-3, and clearly it's quite expensive. For example, a GPT-3.5 turbo fine-tuning job with a training file of 100,000 tokens that is trained for three epochs would have an expected cost of $2.40. So evaluate your unit economics well before opting into it. Let's begin the fun coding part now. For today's demo, we're going to construct a fine-tuned bot called Amazon Script. Whenever a new product is listed on Amazon, our bot will generate a sleek and consistent description using our specially crafted fine-tuned GPT 3.5 model. First, we're going to launch Google Call App. Once we're in, we'll start by installing the OpenAI library and import the package. Next, let's add our API key to connect with OpenAI. Fetch your key and add it as shown here. The backbone of fine-tuning is the data you feed it. Let's understand the format. The training data needs to be added in the API conducive format as messages with system, user and assistant roles. Here is a sample JSCO NL format that includes two training datasets. Make sure you have at least 50 plus data epochs for good result. To simplify our task, I've got a nifty trick up my sleeve. Let's use OpenAI code interpreter to generate 100 product description messages. We requested it to add 100 sample inputs in the messages format and downloaded it in the file. Finally, upload this file to the Google Conup file system. Let's now create and submit the job for fine-tuning our dataset. It's as simple as the command shown here. First, open our data file named fine-tuning data for the purpose fine-tune. This generates file ID in the response. Then, using OpenAI's fine-tuning job function, create the job for training. Pass the file ID from the above as input here. Notice the output here. It generates an ID for the job and puts it in the created status. It takes a while for the job to finish. To query the status of the job, use the list and the retrieve command. Grab the job ID from the previous output and add it as input to the retrieve command. Check the result here. Looks like our job is still running. While there is no UI dashboard yet to monitor, it does send out an email once the job is finished. Once the fine tuning is complete, the model is already hosted in a remote container and accessible by the OpenAI API endpoints. This saves deploying efforts but comes with a cost and rate limiting in place. Now, let's put our fine tuned model to test here. Let's provide it an input from the training set first. I can verify that the output is virtually the same provided in the training dataset. That's a positive sign that GPT didn't craft a brand new response. And now let's provide it a brand new prompt and evaluate the outcome. Notice how the tone matches the fine-tuned data set. This demonstrates that the fine-tuning has been effective here for custom tone of the bot. For businesses with a distinctive brand voice or specific tone requirements, fine-tuning allows for more consistent alignment with these needs. This concludes our example demo of fine-tuning GPT 3.5 Turbo model. As shown, sure, this can be a game-changer towards sleeker and efficient AI apps. Share your comments on how you plan to use this feature. Do subscribe to our channel for more updates in the world of AI. Thank you for watching.